Hey everyone, this is Daniel and in today's video, we're going to take a look at Copilot, the AI powered error at Microsoft. Now I intentionally made this video as the first one for the year 2024 because there are so many flavors of Copilot that I just wanted to make sure that you and I have a good understanding of it. So we're going to take a look at all these different Copilots and the impact that it will have in our day to day services that we use for our day to day tasks. So I'm going to take a look at all of them, all the way from Power Platform, Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, and even look at the developer ones such as GitHub. So stick around because this is very important for you to get a holistic view of all the Copilot features that Microsoft has to offer. But first, here's my new intro video. So let's get started. Now, when it comes to Copilot, I'm pretty sure you've at least seen or heard about either one of these. But the key thing that I want you to understand about Copilot is, is it in or is it for? Because there are different versions of these Copilots. So for example, when you hear about Copilot in, such as in Windows 11 or in SharePoint, well, that's one type of Copilot. Or if you hear about Copilot for for example, for Power Platform or for Microsoft 365, well, that's another type of Copilot. And I'm constantly seeing Microsoft documentations or the new videos that Microsoft releases that always have these type of titles or subtitles which says Copilot in or Copilot for. So start to understand these differences because based upon these things, everything else changes. The definition changes and even the licensing changes. So this is the key thing that I want you to be aware of is which Copilot is it? Is it Copilot in or is it Copilot for? So let's start by talking about the ones that you are most familiar with and the ones that you will use in your day-to-day -day basis, which is Copilot for Microsoft 365. And Copilot will be part of all of these services all the way from Word, PowerPoint, and Excel into Loop and even Whiteboard. In addition, the connectors that come out of Microsoft Graph, those will be at your disposal as well from Microsoft 365 and even the connectors that are coming from Power Platform, specifically the plugins, but we'll take a look at more of that towards the end of this video. But these are all of them. In addition, you have this Microsoft documentation that tells you all the available plans and the feature availability that are there for everything from Copilot in Word all the way up to Whiteboard and it gives you a good description of what these Copilots will do. So I have taken links like these and all the other ones down in the description below. I highly recommend you take these hyperlinks and bookmark them or at least keep them at your disposal so when these updates happen, you can go see them as well. But to give you a better understanding, I wanted to take an example of one of them and deep dive into it. And so Copilot for Microsoft 365 Word now also has deep integration with Designer. Sometimes getting started to write a Word document is the hardest part, especially if you want to add a visual to a text heavy document. Now with Copilot and Microsoft Designer, you can use the context of your document to get ideas to add visuals to your document. Designer provides a variety of images for you to choose from and you can make it more personal by uploading your own photos. Within moments, you can create a custom graphic right in your own document. So that was an example of Copilot in Microsoft 365 Word. But you also have Copilot in the Teams phone. With Copilot in Teams phone, you can make and receive calls from your Teams app on any device and get real-time summarization and insights. You can ask Copilot to draft notes for you and highlight key points such as names, dates, numbers, and tasks during your call, both for voice over IP and PSTN phone calls. An important thing to be aware of is that if you want to leverage Copilot for Microsoft 365, you need to get the add-on plan, which means that you already need to have your Microsoft 365, whether it is the enterprise or the business one. And in addition to that, you need to buy the add-on plan for Copilot. It just doesn't automatically come with your existing plan. So this is the first example of Copilot 4. Let's take a look at Copilot in and in SharePoint. Now, Copilot in SharePoint opens up a whole bunch of options to help you really design some nice pages. 
So for example, you can go ahead and ask Copilot to go ahead and create a design of a page using an existing Word document that you already might have. Copilot will go and convert that Word document and take all of its content and automatically put it into a page. In addition, if you do not like anything about the text or it just doesn't fit really well, you can use Copilot to go ahead and generate and rewrite that text. It'll give you some suggestions right off the bat and you can even regenerate it. And if you like what it is, go ahead and keep it. In addition, you can do section level designing using Copilot. So you can actually add more visuals directly to that section. And if the visual is appealing, directly go ahead and keep it. And all of this is happening using a few clicks. You don't have to do any setting changes by yourself, thanks to Copilot in SharePoint. So these are all the new features coming in Copilot for Microsoft 365. What I wanna do is switch gears and look at Copilot for Power Platform. Now, when it comes to Power Platform, Copilot is introduced in Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages, Power BI, known as Microsoft Fabric. But what about Microsoft Virtual Agents? Well, there's a change happening to Microsoft Virtual Agents, also known as PVA. PVA is getting transitioned now to Microsoft Copilot Studio. But you need to understand what this transition really means. So if you go back to the previous slide, you can see that Power Virtual Agents was part of the Power Platform family. However, its transition to Copilot Studio now detaches from the Power Platform family and makes it a Microsoft Copilot Studio. That is the big difference that you need to be aware of. So here is what the Copilot Studio looks like. And yes, the look and feel is very similar to Power Virtual Agents, but actually does help because that way the adoption of Copilot Studio is a lot more easier. But you do notice some important things. So on the left vertical navigation, you no longer see chatbots, you see Copilots. And the good thing is when you click over here, you haven't lost any of your existing chatbots because here's an example of my real tenant. This was my Power Virtual Agents. This was my chatbot. But what used to be called as chatbots are now Copilots. But in addition, you can now create plugins because that is what will help you build your custom Copilot for any of the gaps that you might find in your company. This Copilot Studio is where you make your custom Copilot as plugins and plug it in to the other services in Microsoft 365. Now I want to transition away from Power Platform and the Microsoft Copilot Studio over to GitHub. Now there's two different flavors of Copilot that is available for GitHub. There is the Copilot for an individual and there is the Copilot for business. And both of them have their own different licensing, there is own different subscription services. But the important thing to know of is what are the features available in the two different flavors of GitHub. And I've presented that in this slide. You can also take a look at the details in that link which are provided in the description below. But let's take a look at how Copilot really works for GitHub. Copilot lets you handle tasks and problems such as extracting new code and connecting with APIs, regular expressions, and even working with unfamiliar programming language. Copilot helps you stay focused by quickly providing a variety of suggestions. So this was just a quick overview of the exciting new things Copilot for GitHub has to offer. But let's transition over to Copilot for Dynamics 365. And over here, there are two different Copilots. One is the Copilot for Sales, and that is an add-on, which means in addition to your existing Dynamics 365 sales, you will have to buy the Copilot add-on. Now, Copilot for Sales comes directly in the integration with Microsoft Teams as well. So for example, over here you have a sales copilot and you can have a discussion with your copilot to get information about your Dynamics 365 specifically for that sales application. The same thing is also available for copilot for services. Copilot in Dynamics 365 customer service empowers the agent to deliver exceptional customer care. And it is also making it easier for customer service departments to build virtual agents in minutes these virtual agents are built in Microsoft 365 Copilot Studio, which we just saw, which harnesses the power of Azure OpenAI Service and Bing to provide answers for company websites. Now, I do want to circle back to Copilot in Microsoft 365, but focusing specifically in Microsoft Viva. And the Viva services where Copilot is available is in Viva Goals, Viva Engage, Viva Learning, and Viva Glint. 
Copilot in Microsoft Viva Goals simplifies goal setting by guiding leaders through the process of creating objectives and key results, also known as OKRs, as well as simplifying goal management across the organization. Copilot can suggest draft OKR recommendations based on existing Word documents, such as an annual business plan or a product strategy on paper. In Viva Engage, Copilot helps leaders create compelling and inspiring posts from simple prompts or trending topics within workplace communities and storyline conversations. In addition, you also have Microsoft Copilot dashboard that runs on Viva Insights and it gives you in-depth overview of how Copilot is being used across your entire Microsoft 365 platform. So you can actually see the total Copilot users in your company and even drill down to how Copilot is transforming work in your company at the Word or at Outlook or in Teams. In addition, you can go and see how your licenses are being used across the entire Microsoft 365, across your entire tenant for all the users in your company. This dashboard is really going to help you understand the usage of Copilot in your company and even help manage the licenses for it. Okay, so we've talked about the different flavors of Copilot both in and outside Microsoft 365. But what happens to those scenarios where your Copilot is either incomplete or it's just not there, specifically for Microsoft 365? In that case, you can build your own plugins. Plugins are built using a combination of the Microsoft 365 Copilot's inheritance with Microsoft Graph, the Microsoft 365 apps, and all the foundational models. The foundational models basically goes ahead and use all of these different plugins. The plugin that I showed you how Copilot Studio goes ahead and generates and talks to all your other 365 services. So for example, you can go ahead and build your Microsoft 365 Copilot and its plugin using say ChatGPT plugins or the Microsoft Team message extensions and even all of the other power platform connectors leveraging those thousand plus connectors that are already there that you have access to. Therefore, you can build your own custom 365 plugin using the Teams Toolkit for Visual Studio Code and any other API endpoint that you might have access to. So everything we talked about so far has to do with Copilot directly on the cloud services. But there's two others that will be available to you on your local machine. And the first one is Copilot in Windows, the operating system on which your local machine runs. And two versions of those operating systems will have Copilot in it. It is the Windows 10 and the Windows 11. Just keep in mind that the Windows 10 will actually be phased launch via a control feature rolling out on the coming months. So you will have to plan accordingly which version of your Windows 10 update is the one that you want to use to release your Copilot for the Windows 10 operating system. But other than that, this is pretty awesome because now you can directly have Copilot in your operating system. You can use that to interact with your operating system and you can go ahead and put in which conversational style that you want to use. Now, the conversational style also applies to the Copilot in your Edge browser. And this is something that you might already have. So in my case, I am using the most up-to-date Edge browser. And if you see on the right, I have Copilot available over here. And this is the exact same conversation style that I just talked about. This Copilot, by the way, runs directly on the Bing chat. And you've got different conversational styles to choose from. The default is more balanced, but you can switch over to more creative or more precise. But right over here, this is where you can have conversation asking your Edge browser whatever you want, and it will go ahead and fetch that for you. Again, keeping in mind the conversational style that you have. It's pretty awesome that two of these Copilots are running directly on your local machine. And finally, I want to talk about adoption of Copilot. Microsoft has provided resources on how to deploy, use, and scale Copilot, not just for you, but also your team and your entire organization. It provides an overview, a business user level, a leader level, and an IT professional and developer level. So it's just a good overview of everything that I just talked about, and this documentation really helps you start working and planning for the adoption of Copilot in your company. For more information, take a look at the link which I provided below and in the description. So we just did a good overview of all the Microsoft Copilot features that are currently available. So let's do a recap. First thing is the different types of Copilot. There is the Copilot in, for example, in Windows or in SharePoint, and the other one is Copilot 4. 
for Power Platform or for Microsoft 365. And we also saw how Copilot works in some examples. We saw it in Word, we saw it in Teams. Then we looked at examples of Copilot outside Microsoft 365. We looked at it in GitHub, we looked at it in Power Platform. In Power Platform, we confirmed that Power Virtual Agents is no longer there. It is now going to be the new Copilot Studio, which means it is no longer part of the Power Platform family. It is now outside the Power Platform. It is now the Microsoft Copilot Studio. And we also looked at the ones which are on your local machine, the Windows 11 Copilot, the Edge Browser Copilot. And in the end, we looked at the Microsoft documentation of the adoption process for Copilot. So hopefully this video gives you a good overview of all the Copilot features that are currently available. And you can start playing and testing with any of those that you already have access to so that these Copilot features can either help make your job a little easier or even automate some of those mundane tasks. And so that way you can focus on those really critical important tasks that need your human touch. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.